Now, having good performance on your application is an important part to making it successful. Now, oftentimes, one thing that can cause performance issues are images, as images tend to take up a lot of data that a user has to download. And if there's a lot of data that you need to download on a certain page, that can impact your pages or applications performance. And one way that we can improve the performance of images within our Nux application is using a component that is provided to us by the Nux image module that we installed a few lessons ago into our Nux application. So within our base navigation component, we have an image that is being hard coded to a width of 56 pixels. So if we head over to the application and we go to inspect this, and then we can select on this icon, you can see that yes, it is being set to a width of 56 pixels, but if we hover over to the image itself, the rendered size is 56 pixels, which we're seeing in our application, but the intrinsic size is actually 512 pixels by 512 pixels. So what we're doing is having the user download all that extra data, even though we're only showing them a very small size of that image. And right now we're not gonna see a performance issue with this because number one, we only have the one image on our application as of right now, and the file size is already really small. But the issue that we want to look into deeper here is if we have an application, which we will, that has a lot of images in which we're doing this, we could be saving a lot of data that the user has to download and improve the application's performance. So with the Nux image module, we get access to a component called Nux image, which is a drop in replacement for the native image tag that we would normally use to display images inside of an application. Now under the hood, this component is going to do a few things. So first off, it's gonna convert the SRC to provider optimized URLs. So as you can see, we can use a whole bunch of different providers with the Nux image component, which we're not gonna be showcasing here in this course, but we can also use the default provider, which is called IPX. And IPX is the built-in and self-hosted image optimizer that Nux uses for the Nux image component. And when using either IPX or one of the providers, we can automatically resize our images based on a width and height prop. And what's also really nice about this component is we can also generate responsive sizes for our images. So as you can see, when we use the Nux image tag, we use it as if it was a normal image tag. We just have the Nux image component, it accepts an SRC, and this is gonna result in just an image tag being rendered inside of our application. And with the example that we have right now, which is gonna be for our icon, we can specify a specific width and height of the image using the width and height property. However, we can also specify responsive sizes for images that may grow or shrink to respond to certain screen sizes within our application. And as you can see on the right-hand side here, we have a lot of other props that we can use to help optimize our images using this component. So I'll leave the link down below in the description to go check out the documentation for Nux image as it does offer a lot of good insight in terms of how we can optimize our images using all these additional props. So for our icon that we have in our navigation component, what we wanna do is replace the native image tag with the Nux image component. And then what we wanna do is remove this class of W14 and we wanna use the width property to set this to 56 pixels. And now back inside of our application, if we select on this icon, you can see that the image tag now looks a little bit different. So you can see that we have the width prop of 56 pixels right here. And then for the SRC value, it's actually being set to an optimized URL using IPX, which is the built-in default image optimizer for Nux image. So you can see that the intrinsic size is now 112 pixels by 112, and the file size has been reduced to 3.7 kilobytes. So that is almost four or five kilobytes smaller than what we had before. So as you can see, if we optimize our images correctly, we can reduce significantly the amount of data that the user is going to download when they visit our application. Now for this image, what you may have noticed is that we have something called the SRC set. And within here, we have two different URLs for our image. So we have one that says W underscore 56, which stands for width 56. And then we have another one that says W underscore 112 for width 112. And then on the end of these, we have a 1X and a 2X. And for the SRC value of this image, you can see it is using the W underscore 56 icon green URL. However, if we were to open this image in a new tab, if we right hand click on this, and we click on open a new tab, you can see that it's using the W underscore 112 URL, 
even though here it's saying that it should be using the w underscore 56. So you might be wondering what is happening. Now the Nux image has something called the densities prop. And what this does is generate a special version of the image for screens with an increased pixel density. And by default, what this does allow for is a 1x image and also a 2x image for increased pixel density for screens that can support it. And I do believe I'm on a screen size that does have an increased pixel density. So that's why you're seeing the width of our image double from what we specified. So what we can do to show you how this works if you don't want to do something like this is we can copy this densities prop and we can add this prop to our Nux image component and we can remove the 2x density. So if we save this and we head back over to our application, you can now see that we no longer have that 2x density image and we only have the default one that we have specified, which is gonna be the 1x, which is going to result in a 56 by 56 image for our icon. And now if you open up this image inside of a new tab, you should see that instead of it being the 112 by 112, we now have the 56 by 56 icon that we specified. Now another useful prop that the Nux component has is called the format prop. And this allows you to serve your image in a specific format. So on the fly, it allows you to convert your image to a different format, such as WebP, JPEG, JPG, GIF, and SVG. Now, in our case, our icon is actually a PNG. So say, for example, you wanted to convert it to be a WebP because WebP formats are a little bit more web performant friendly. Now, before we convert this image, let's just take a quick look at the file size, which is going to be two kilobytes, which is very small. But when we do convert a PNG to a WebP, we're also going to save on data that the user has to download, making our application even more performant. So on the Nux image component, we can specify the format prop and we can just say we want this to be the format of WebP. So now if we save that and head back over to the application, you can see that our image has been converted over to the type of WebP and we also are able to shrink our file size by a half a kilobyte. 